Hey Eagle fans, it's Eagle fan Carl. This is going to be my preview and prediction video for tomorrow afternoon's game between the Eagles and Detroit Lions. There have been a couple of memorable games between the Eagles and Lions at Lincoln Financial Field. Two specifically come to mind for me. Uh, the first one is represented in the picture there. The most recent one, 2013, was the last time Eagles-Lions played at the link. That was the Snow Bowl game uh, between the Eagles and Lions where LaShawn McCoy sets the franchise record for rushing yards in a single game. The Eagles uh, fell down early, actually, in that game and then came back and won and ran all over them uh, in the uh, second half. And the picture there was a memorable play at the end where Brent Selleck, we needed a first down to be able to run the clock out. He could have run in for a touchdown, but slid in the snow to uh, make a very memorable end of that game. Uh, and I was at that game. It was an exciting game to be at. Uh, and I had a lot of fun at that one. Another memorable game between the Eagles and Lions at the link uh, that I was also at was the game where they wore these uh, throwback jerseys. Uh, the, those hideous yellow and light blue jerseys that they wore. Early season game in September, uh, and the Eagles absolutely routed the Lions that day. Uh, the stats in that game were ridiculous how uh, one-sided it was. Brian Westbrook had over 100 yards rushing and receiving. Kevin Curtis, remember him? He had over 200 yards receiving in that game, and Donovan McNabb had an absolute perfect quarterback rating of 158.3. So it was at the, those, both of those games. Uh, the Cousins that you saw me do the preview videos were with, uh, I was at the, both of those games, one with each one of them. Uh, so it was an exciting uh, memories to think back on those games. A lot of fun to be at those and celebrate two Eagles wins. There have been some uh, memorable losses, though, to the, to the Lions over the years, uh, and even in recent history. Uh, the most recent one, it was actually Wentz's first loss uh, was against the Lions. Uh, the first loss of ever of his career was against the Lions in Detroit. The other game I remember against Detroit in Detroit uh, that was absolutely terrible was the Thanksgiving game of Chips last year. And if you actually go back and look, that was the first video I ever posted was a reaction video to that game. Just how lousy the Eagles had played. I wanted Chip fired. I was done with him at that point and I was ready to see him go on. Let's go ahead and turn our focus, though, to this Sunday's game. Obviously, the big concern going into it is the injuries, especially to our wide receivers, and what exactly the weapons we're going to use to attack uh, Detroit with. Uh, hopefully, another week of practice will allow uh, Carson to develop a little bit more of a rapport with Ortega Whiteside and Mac Collins. Um, but that said, I'd like to see Doug go in a different direction and really try to establish the run game in this. I think it will help the passing game. Uh, the running backs are not banged up, and it should also help the offensive line, which struggled last week, to hopefully get a little more confidence up uh, with the running game where they're the ones doing the attacking. That would be hopefully the way that they will attack this thing, and I hope that's what they do. Uh, so that's that would be my strategy going into this game. Detroit has given up 100 yards in each of their first two games. Um, against Arizona and uh, the Chargers. That's despite the fact that both those teams were behind and were trying to come back, so they still were able to have success on the ground, even though it's not like they were trying to run the clock out at the end and they were able to get running yards that way. Uh, so I would think that the Eagles should be able to establish the run against this team. As a result, I think this game is going to be lower scoring than some people think. I think it's going to be closer than some people think. Um, I think it's going to be one of those games where we're always sort of in control, but it's never completely a safe lead that we can just sit back and cruise. Uh, so for that reason, like I said, I like a lower scoring, closer game than maybe what people are, are thinking. At the end of the day, though, I just don't see the Eagles losing to this Lions team. Uh, you know, the Lions haven't lost this year yet, but that's only because they uh, played terribly against Arizona and got away with a tie. And then they somehow pulled off the upset last week against the Chargers, but the Chargers were coming west from west to east at a 1 o'clock game, which is always a tough spot. So I think this Lions team is due for a loss. I think the Eagles are due for a bounce back. All that said, my prediction for the score is going to be Eagles 23, Lions 16. Like I said, maybe a little lower scoring than some people are thinking, but I think the Eagles uh, ultimately win this game. Not necessarily maybe as comfortable as we'd like, 
but I think they win it nonetheless. And like I said, I think they control the game for most of it. It's just maybe not as big of a lead as maybe people would like. And as a result, we're going to have to actually sweat it out a little bit uh, in the fourth quarter. Those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what your prediction for the score is. Obviously, check in afterwards, let you know who my studs and duds are for the week. Hopefully, we're celebrating an Eagles win, getting back in the win column. Until then, fly, Eagles, fly.